Sunny Norway, I guess. It's kind of sunny. Um, the sun is probably shining in the sky over there somewhere. We've uh, we've uh, just had a bit of swimming time, and uh, Ewan's in here doing a bit of. Uh, I don't know what Ewan's doing. It's a bit weird. No. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, we're going to the Dalles River Mountain Plateau today and you know, hopefully we'll get some good drone shots there if the weather stays like this. Um, yeah, so we've got to get, we get packed up because there's a bit of a mess in here. I can see you in. So, we're back in the uh, car once again. Nice and sunny morning. Look at that view. Just look at that snow, there's loads of it. Bears on up to Nell's Dill. Basically two hour drive. Yeah, two hour drive. So we'll get there about midday. Get some cool stuff there, and then another while up to this next waterfall, and then a long time to this next waterfall, I think. Here we have a view. It's beautiful, snowy, wet, and cold all at the same time. Hello, up, Ewan. Moving on up to the castle. Is it click like English? Yeah. Wasting our money away. Ah, oh, beautiful lakes, beautiful views, everything here. You and Ant Man? Yes. I'm thinking about selling my drone. What? Why? I don't know, it's just it's a lot of money to have and I just don't think it's earning itself back and David, you David, know. David, 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 David. How much Snickers? <laughs> Cause you're not you when you're hungry. Oh my god, one fly drone! <laughs> oh my god, there's fly drones everywhere! Look at this, look at this cloud here. It's just there. The cloud is literally like 50 meters near. We're in the same height. Maybe 30, as the maybe cloud. 20 meters near. Look at it. I'm about to go through it. What on earth? What is cloud.exe has stopped Over working? Explosion. Maybe there's like a big fire? Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's the way she walks. Why are there so many goats in Norway? Comment in the, disc in the down below why there's so many goats in Norway. Come on now. Why okay. do they choose our car to break? Have we told them about it? I think we told them about it. Tell them again. The goats broke our car. It's like they've keyed our car. Yeah. Maybe she rubbed the horns like <laughs> against it. And now we're annoyed. There's loads of trees. Why can't they use those? They have to use a shiny metal boy. I mean, knocking down all the poles as well. I wonder how many poles there are in Norway, these. Thousands. What? Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne. It's Jason, Jason Bourne! Bourne. <laughs> Five kilometer tunnel. Oh, oh <laughs> I don't want to go. It's so 
pot right now. So we're finally in the cold, cold part. I mean, we don't really know the altitude, but we currently know the temperature, which is minus one degrees Celsius. It is icy out there, but the snow tires, they're working well. Finally, it's snow everywhere, all around like us. Like a foot deep worth of snow as well. Like loads of snow. Look at this bank! So much snow. It's only the corners that are like slippy. I don't get that. Like all the straight bits of the road, like fine. You get to the corners, it's just like. about to go up this bit of road which winds all the way up the mountain, I don't know if you can see it, but it goes up there, round, up, 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 all the way up there to uh, Delsnibber, which should be a pretty cool view. We've got the snow on top of the mountain, down in the valley there's not going to be any snow. Do you not think? I don't know how big a drop it is. True. I'll have to wait and see. So we reached um, Delsnibber, but it's closed because there's a lot of snow. Like loads of snow. Like tons. Look at that car. What do you think next to it? Yeah. We're gonna get the uh, drone up anyway. So we just come back from Dal's Nibir, well, from the area because it closed, and now we just found this uh, big viewing point. There might be a waterfall here. Oh, even better. We can't see it yet. So if we take a look this way, massive, stunning view. I've got places to be. Let's go. There's things to do, places to be. So we've got a very long way to go. Toilet, assess. It's got that pull door to the side. We've got any dude? Not ideal. No. We've got that wood, reclaimed wood decor. We've got that mirror. With me. Hi. There's a bigger door slam there, David. Is that all one toilet? Yep. Back to the car. How to be a Sherpa. Uh, <laughs> bag on the front, bag on the back. Look at stuff full. And we're heading up to a little thing called Marble Possum. I think. We can actually see it in fact. It looks pretty weak to be fair. <laughs> we're hoping for something oh, yeah. better. We've driven about four hours to get to it, so. Yeah. I mean, it's on the right way to go. Worst case, just photoshop some water into it. Oh yeah, oh we're gonna do that. Yeah, I can do that. Just duplicate the water form. There we go, that's the boy. <coughs> go to the top and shook some water off it. Yeah, I'll pee down it. Yeah. That'd be more powerful than that. I feel like it's actually pretty powerful. Just look how much water's coming out the bottom. It's just really long. So yeah, we're um, after this morning's disappointment with Dal's nipper, Nibber. We um, head here. I hope you find that this waterfall is a bit crap. It's very tall. It's huge. It's massive, but it's not exactly God of Fox. <laughs> yeah, it's not God of Fox, is it? <laughs> yeah. Could so, you imagine if that was God of Fox? This whole valley would just be gone. Yep. 
<laughs> it's be one big lake. Guys, do you know what time it is? What time is it, David? It's drone time! <laughs> So, Ewan, well, uh, what, what are we doing now? We are currently walking to the base of the waterfall, see if we can get some cool shots there. And um, that's about it, really. So, that we're going to start the drive up to the sunny north. Okay, so, we've got this, uh, the camera's currently got the the Bokerful King, the uh, 50mm, the 50mm F2.1.8, which I'm having to manually focus, and I'm not doing the worst job in the world. Kind of, uh, oh, oh, there we go. Back in focus. And we are live in three, two, one with Ewan cooking the world. Hello guys, we are here with Ewan cooks the world. We're back on the bench. You know the bench, I know the bench, we all know the bench. So we, guess you can see, we've moved once again. The kitchen is now at the base of the tallest waterfall in Europe and the fourth biggest waterfall in the world. And it is, oh my God, you can see it in the dark. This thing's incredible, it's all the way up there. <laughs> we have that lighting. So today on Yo Cooks the World, we have the classic. They're just delightful. The best thing you can cook in these kind of conditions. The Heinz beans. Let me get a close up on those Heinz beans. There we go. We love it. David loves it. The world loves them. It's easy. <laughs> it's easy as beans. So, what do you first do? You might have to come around here, cameraman. We turn the hob on. We first, we lock it in. It's locked in. You cannot see it, wait. <laughs> there we go. We're locked in the mix, guys. And then we just go, kaboof. And we have light. It is Oh lit. yeah. So what else are we doing to keep that flame burning hot, Ewan? We've got the Wind Protector 9000. Yep. Which is not the box it came in. <laughs> no, not at all. Because <laughs> it's quite windy tonight, it's probably from the trees. Not ideal. You can see the trees, this camera's the insane. Okay, go on. <laughs> so, we've got the pot, we have the pot, we've got the beans, we've got the spark. Let's do this. Bean montage. <laughs> in you and cooks around the world we are live at the beanage it's going well well it's still cooking however oh, the flames, the flames gone out it's a reoccurring thing we're having in you and kitchen at the moment I think maybe you're right i think maybe we're out of flame mother nature is not liking us at the moment no no we've got loads of flame in there okay good see the thing with camping uh, cooking in Ewan's kitchen around oh, the world over. around the world Things do go wrong, as you can see. It's gone out again, there we go. <laughs> so, sometimes cooking it till it's cooked is not an option. Sometimes we have to eat it as it's cooking, which is what we're going to do now. Go on, you and give us a taste. Right, um, I'll have to see all this. Right. It only take a little bit. I'm not sure how bad it might be. We're having it, guys. Lukewarm at best. Oh, you smell <laughs> it! Lukewarm at best. The best thing about this cookie style is it's only going to get warmer the more we eat. So, here we are. Beanage, cold beanage. It'll do. We 
We're just going to tuck in now. Please give me another Michelin star. Yeah, we, <laughs> please give us another Michelin star back. I need another one back. <laughs> we need so yeah, thank you and um, good night. Tracking shot into the mouth. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's grim. <laughs> So we're just driving back now to this super creepy wood. I've never seen something more creepy. We're hopeful, but we're starting the ascent up north. The fat 17 hour drive, 1000 kilometer drive to north. So far we've done 1600 miles in, on this journey, which is equivalent of about three tanks of fuel. So we're doing that again. Not again, that's miles. True, true. Oh, yeah, of course. We're doing about we're doing half of that. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing a third of our total journey today. Well Well some of it. Today and tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna try and get as far as possible as we can bear to go. We're gonna be we're gonna aim to be in Lofoten tomorrow. Yeah. We're gonna probably keep driving until like midnight maybe. Yeah. And then hopefully past. And then go up at some point tomorrow, so then we've got a whole week up there. Well, good few days to do what we want to do. So yeah. So yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Which is 14 hours and 27 minutes. However, we've just found a new friend. His, uh, his name is uh, Derek, the lorry driver. He is insane. <laughs> he is insane. How long have we been driving for you? Um, I don't actually know how long. Oh, I think we've done about seven hours so far between us. It's a long time. We're looking for a, looking for a place to park up now for the night because uh, we're both. Well, I am. The, um, oh, bad. About an hour ago, I was like. On the verge of falling asleep, I'd neck the other red ball and I'm fine. <laughs> but yeah, it's about four in the morning. 